So initially the loop, loop will be like this, no? Here, I'll draw the sequence of diagrams so that it'll be easy for you to understand the concept. So this is the initial. Oh, that one. So it is a given angular velocity. Let's assume that one. So after some time, the position of the loop will be like this. Then it will be. So this will be half of the like this. You can continue the sequence, huh? and I'll show you afterwards. You you work out further the situation. Oh. The complete situation will be. I'm rotating with a constant angular velocity. Let's let's omega be the angular velocity. So now, when somewhere it has come to this position, everywhere b bar is present. Here, no magnetic field here. Only on the right hand side, there the field is present. Find the EMF induced loop as a function of time. Only rod, we were in better position, no? But he has brought some loop, no? Unless what what method you can bring it? To solve this problem, let let me take some angle theta or or one diagram. I'll give it. Huh? So this is the center of the loop. Let it be. So do do we have any sector here? Are are, are you seeing any sector? So what is the area of this sector? Half r square theta area. So this we see sector. What is the area of this sector? So we write r square theta by two. And it is next link with a constant angular acceleration. So, what is theta? No, theta should be equal to alpha t square by two. So, substitute here. So, alpha theta square by four. This was the area. No, what is the flux linking the loop? B into A. Let flux linking the loop yellow color region because here is what magnetic field is present. No. No magnetic field here, so this should be B R square alpha T square by four. This will differentiate. Then we'll get the EMF induced, and that EMF induced is asking us to plot as a function of time. So E equal to d phi by dt. So this should be B alpha R square T by two. Differentiating with respect to time, I'll get the EMF induced. So that EMF induced is a function of time. Okay, this is about the magnitude. But here, let's let's apply the Lenz law. 
when it moves from position one to position two. So look at this one. What's happening to flux? Or so like a, from position one to almost position. So this, let me write one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, from as it moves from one to five, position five. So what happened to flux linking the loop? It increases, no? here zero flux, here the maximum flux is linking. The flux one to five, it increases. Again from five, six, as you continue the sequence, as I continue the sequence, I'll, I'll draw the sequence here. If you are able to imagine, I think there, there won't be. So if you come next and finally. This will be the condition. OK, now come for this. This will be the, so six, this will be seven, eight. And finally, it will return to one. <coughs> when it moves from seven eight so again, again when it moves from say like a seven no the flux start decreasing no so from five water pen as it starts rotating the flux start decreasing look at the area no D this area start decreasing so shall I say sir so from one to five flux will increase and five to nine the flux will decrease so flux is varying, no? So now, what happened? We uh, we have to plot that one. The, the rate of change of EMF induced d phi by dt will it be constant? That's what I'm asking. How to plot the plot that graph? So EMF induced is a function of time. So we'll do one thing. If the loop rotated with a constant angular velocity, first we'll check it. Then I'll come for angular acceleration. I'll, I'll slide down. So first we'll uh, plot two graphs. If the loop is rotate with constant angular velocity, tell me if it rotate with constant angular velocity. So what is in place of theta, you're going to write it. Omega t, I'll, I'll proceed. First with the mathematics, area of the sector area of the sector A equal to R square theta by two. Then the flux linking the loop is equal to B into A b r square theta by 2. If the loop rotates, loop, loop rotates, with constant speed omega, then theta will become omega t, then the flux will be b r square omega t by 2. I'll differentiate, I'll get emf induced, d phi by dt, this should be equal to how much? B R square omega by two. Now plot this graph. The, the graph, how the, how the graph will be. Alternate signal like this. So there's nothing but an called as alternating signal. So this should be equal to plus c minus c now whatever the time taken that will be equal no so this is if you take this is t naught 2 t naught 3 t naught 4 t naught for every half interval of time the current through the loop will alternate because flux increasing decreasing will I agree this so here if you want to show the direction of induced current 
here if you want to show the direction of induced current according to lens law <coughs> how the induced current should flow negative flux increasing diffeminative emf induced positive so the induced current should flow in this direction call i2 so here also i3 now what about here it should be in this direction i8 just analyze no because you you are so after this the direction of induced current will change so here it is i4 no this will be i6 is that okay no so they may test you with all these things so they may ask you at any certain position also they may test you what about the direction of current so take up a basic lens law and analyze it so the direction of current alternate the emf also alternates and now what is our question but he asked for angular acceleration no? and look at the emf as a function earlier e was a function of time e was a constant and it alternates here e is a function of time should increase linearly and also should alternate able to make it out look at i4 and i6 should also alternate so how the possible graph will be so the same take help of this graph no you alternate it so there should be vertical lines i should not draw vertical lines i should not draw as interval of time need not be equal because it's accelerating motion no? what is the time taken for equal angular displacement in angular accelerated motion should keep on decrease so 